Assalamu alaikum friends today we will solve example related to fourier series which says that expand the function f of x is equal to mod x in the interval from minus pi to plus pi in the fourier series it means we have to expand this function in fourier series friends we know that the equation of fourier series is equal to f of x is equal to a naught divided by 2 plus summation a n is equal to 1 up to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. This is the equation of Fourier series. In this equation, we have to find Fourier coefficient a naught a n and b n. But before finding these values, we have to check whether this given function is even function or odd function. For this, we have to replace x by minus x. For example, f of minus x is equal to minus x mod. This is equal to x. For example, if I consider that the value of x is equal to minus 5, then the mod of minus 5 is equal to 5. So we can say that this given function is even function. And in case of even function, the value of bn is equal to 0. So in this case, we have to find only the value of a naught and the value of a n. Friends, we know that equation for a naught is equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi f of x into dx. Here in this equation we have to put the value of f of x. So we will get 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi x into dx. Now we have to integrate this. After integration we will get 2 divided by pi into x square divided by 2 and the limits are from 0 to pi the integration of x is equal to x square divided by 2 now i have to put the upper limit and lower limit so we will get a naught is equal to 2 divided by pi into pi square divided by 2 minus 0 divided by 2 we will get this one here this 2 and this 2 will cancel this pi and this square will cancel and this term will become equal to 0. So we will get the value of a naught equal to pi. So this is the value of a naught. Now we have to find the value of a n. We know that equation for a n is equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi f of x cos n x into dx. Here I have to put the value of f of x. So we will get 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi x cos n x into dx. Now I have to integrate this one by using the product rule. So we will get a n is equal to 2 divided by pi into x sin n x divided by n and the limits are from 0 to pi minus integration from 0 to pi sin n x divided by n into dx we will get this one now this can be written as that a n is equal to 2 divided by pi into x sin n x divided by n and the limits are from 0 to pi and the integration of sin n x is equal to minus cos n x so this will become equal to plus so we will get here cos n x divided by n square and the limits are from 0 to pi we will get this one now after putting these the upper and lower limits this term will become equal to zero and finally we will get a n is equal to 2 divided by pi cos n x divided by n square the limits are from zero to 
pi. Now I have to put the upper and lower limits and we will get a n is equal to 2 divided by pi into cos n pi divided by n square minus cos n 0 divided by n square. We will get this one. Now here cos n 0 is equal to cos 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1. So we can write this equation as that a n is equal to 2 divided by pi into cos n pi divided by n square minus 1 over n square. We will get this one. Now we know that cos n pi is equal to minus 1 to the power n. So this can be written as that a n is equal to 2 divided by pi into minus 1 to the power n divided by n square minus 1 over n square. Now I have to take 1 over n square as a common so we will get 2 divided by pi n square into minus 1 to the power n minus 1. This is the value of a n. Now if the value of n is even number then this whole term will become equal to 0. For example, if I put the value of n equal to 2, then this will become equal to 2 divided by n square into minus 1 to the power 2 minus 1. So this will be equal to 2 divided by pi n square 1 minus 1. So they will cancel each other. So we will get here 0. In case of even number, the value of a n is equal to 0. Now, if the value of n is odd, then a n will be equal to 2 divided by pi n square. Let's suppose the value of n is 3. So this will become equal to minus 1 to the power 3 minus 1. So we will get here 2 divided by pi n square minus 2. We will get this one. And the value of a n will become equal to minus 4 to the power pi into n square. This is the value of a n in case of odd number. Now I have to put these values in equation of Fourier series. So after putting the values of Fourier coefficients means values of a naught, a n and b n, the Fourier equation will become equal to f of x is equal to the value of a naught is pi, so this will become equal to pi by 2 minus 4 divided by pi summation n is equal to 1 up to infinity. And the value of n is odd in this case because in case of even number, the value of a n is 0. So this will become equal to 1 over n square cos n pi. So this can also be written as that pi divided by 2 minus 4 divided by pi into cos pi divided by 1 square plus cos 3 pi divided by 3 square plus cos 5 5 pi divided by 5 square and so on. So this is the final Fourier series of a given function. Thank you.